spring cleaning, most people are thinking about cleaning out their closets, maybe washing the windows, even scrubbing the floors. Yeah, well, Dr. Malika Marshall has yet another item you may want to add to that spring cleaning list, your medicine cabinet. <laughs> I think it's a good idea if people look in their medicine cabinets at least once a year. Dr. Nancy Keating is a primary care physician at Brigham and Women's Hospital. She says for years we've been telling people to get rid of any expired medications. Turns out they may be good past their expiration date. Most drugs actually are stable and able to be used, especially if they've been stored in, in dry and dark conditions, for up to several years. One notable exception is an EpiPen for allergies, and that really does need to be replaced every year. Dr. Keating says you should get rid of any unused narcotics or antibiotics that could be harmful to anyone else who takes them. And if you have to get rid of a medication, don't dump it down the toilet. Because if we put too many medicines in the toilet, these medicines can actually seep into the ground supply and the water supply. Instead, take them to a drug disposal site. Check with your particular town to find out where. So what should you always keep in your medicine cabinet, just in case? Dr. Keating says, first thing, a thermometer. And if you have a fever or pain, take a fever reducer like acetaminophen found in Tylenol or ibuprofen, which has an added advantage. So if you sprain your ankle or get a big bruise, it can actually take care of the inflammation and help that. So many people are suffering from allergies these days. Since antihistamines like diphenhydramine, which is the active ingredient in Benadryl, can be really useful. Challenge here is that it can be sedating. But there are non-sedating options like loratadine or claritin, which are found over the counter. Afrinasal spray can also help with nasal congestion, but... You can't take it for more than three or four days, or you can actually get a rebound effect from that. Which can make nasal congestion worse. Tell me why I need tweezers. You can use them to remove splinters. Uh, you can use them to remove ticks. And if you or your child gets a boo-boo, clean it with soap and water. And depending on where it is, cover it with a bandage. Well, not all cuts need to be covered, but if particularly cuts that are in areas that might be hard to keep clean, it actually the bandage, I think, does more just to help keep the dirt out. Mosquito bite, eczema, or other itchy rash? have some hydrocortisone cream on hand. And for an upset stomach, consider an antidiarrheal or antacids for occasional heartburn. But if you have you know, high fevers and abdominal pain, you should probably call your doctor before you do too much doctoring at home. Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News. Now, Malika's interested in your story ideas, so send them her way. You can email her at drmalika at cbs.com or tweet her at Malika Marshall.